32 systems. Out of those 32 systems, mind you, only three systems were regarding the construction and operating of the aeroplane. About seven systems were for the navigation purpose. Eight systems were for others, uh, other ways of operating the aeroplane. And mind you, 20 systems were for strategical means wartime purposes. Weapons, different ways of conquering the enemy, they were given. Then further, next, next, uh, crab motion. Get the tiriyak. Now in Mahara, Maharshi Bharadwaj Samhita, there is a definition given. Vimana rachane, vyoma rohane, chalane, stambhane, gamane, chitra gati, vichitra gati, vegadi nirnayaha. That means first to lift off, then construction, then operating the aeroplane, then stopping the aeroplane in the air, then going forward, then chitragati and vichitragati. And the speeds about that Bharadwaj Rushi talks about. What Okay. Now my assistant, Professor Jadhav, she has given you some entertaining things. Now as I told you, Vyoma Rohane Rachane, Vimana Rachane Vyoma Rohane Chalane Stambhane Gamane Chitragati Vegadi Niranayam. All this is, has been depicted here. Now one particular, next. Yes, this is called barrel roll, where the aeroplane literally rolls around its own horizontal axis. Next picture in the bottom side. Yes. Now in this, you can see the aeroplane going in all directions, vertically up, vertically down, diagonally to the right, diagonally to the left, upward, downward. Now how was that achieved? Mind you, there used to be 40 small engines in the aeroplane, 40 small engines. And the exhaust pipes of those engines were flexible and they were called, exhaust pipes were called shundal and the narration is gajasyavat shundal, like the trunk of an elephant. Like the elephant's trunk can be moved like this, the exhaust pipes could be moved like this. And today's aviation does not know the flexible exhaust system. Maharshi Bharadwaj talks about the flexible exhaust system made. Today's exhausts are made out of metal alloys and we I mean, the scientists of the today, they keep on trying to produce, manufacture the lighter weight exhaust, which can stand a lot of heat, which can stand a lot of pressure, which can stand a lot of minor pressure, and it can stand a lot of torsions, tensions, etc. Maharshi Bharadwaj caters for all this, and he has guided to manufacture exhaust pipe flexible type which is of fabric and animal skins. Again, in this my lecture I am going to appeal again and again to the young listeners here and outside. Please read Vimana Samvita Bharadwaj and try to produce, try to manufacture 
get the idea of having a flexible exhaust for the aeroplane. Manufacture it. It will be a boon. Next. Clockwise direction. Yes. Now here, you on the screen, you will see clockwise pradakshina and anti-clockwise pradakshina. It is sort of loop, inverted loop and natural loop. So that was directed. And mind you, that was achieved by the manipulation of engine power. Out of the 32 systems, most fascinating system, I will not go into details of all those wartime systems, because there are 20. And some of them are really scary. We'll not go into that. We'll talk about the most system which is known to everybody or everybody has heard about it, the radar. The radar system of today, it has been depicted. Radar. Radar chi Radar chi Radar Uh, I think, then close it down, shut it down. Let not people get diverted there. Shut it off. There is some problem with the computer. Excuse us. So, I will not divert your attention to the screen. Just listen to me. Oh my God. Where is the radar now? We are talking over the ancient technology and we are facing the problems with the modern technology. Radar, yeah. Now you are seeing on the uh, screen the radar. The top portion is the modern type of radar where you can see a interrogative electromagnetic burst of wave is sent in the sky or around the radar center. It strikes an aeroplane or any other object, metallic object, which returns that burst back to the radar center. The direction is already known in which direction it was sent and then the time taken for, to travel from the center to the aeroplane and from the aeroplane to the center divided by two and the speed known the, of the electromagnetic wave and the distance is measured and a blip that means a small point is presented on the, that circular radar screen today. Now in ancient India, in ancient India, the radar system was called Rupa Karshana system. The first and foremost difference in today's radar, only a blip, a small point is indicated as an aeroplane. Whereas in ancient Indian radar system, Mind you, the word is radar. Word is radar. Please remember it because you might hear it outside pronounced in a different manner. The proper word is radar. So, Rupa Karshana Rahasya, in which in ancient India, on the radar scope in the cockpit or in the radar center, the shape of the aeroplane was presented to the observer shape of the aeroplane. For the simple reason, there was no interrogation made from the radar center or from the aeroplane to the other aeroplane. We depended on the basic knowledge or the basic principle that any animated or inanimated object like you, me, the wood, the stone, metal, Everything radiates a sort of energy outside all the time. And the moment that energy radiation stops, we call dead. We call that as dead. So that was the process used. Now, there is further why it is called Brahat Vimana Samhita. Because Acharya Varaha, uh, uh, this Bharadwaj talks about diets of pilots, we have two months per rutu, like that for first two months, uh, four months, the buffalo's milk was recommended, in the second four months, the cow's milk was recommended, 
and in the last four months, the ship's milk was recommended. And why all this? So he says that sarva dosha vinashasya, this diet is to be observed. And why this special diet? Because Vaimanik has to go through a lot of, am I, my time is up? Two minutes, okay. Because why? Pilot has to go through a lot of changes in the atmosphere. He has to go through atmospheric changes and atmosphere contains the sun rays and millions of sun rays we receive. And out of those millions, our ancestors had marked that 25 sun rays are very dangerous to the human body. They are chedini, raktapa, medhasvi, ahari, etc., etc. They can destroy our body and that's why a special diet is to be taken. Now, pilot were recommended to have five times food in 24 hours, three times during the daytime and two times during the night time. And whenever the natural fooling or the normal fooding arrangements were not possible or the timings didn't allow, the pilots used to carry the small sattva goloks with them made out of bits, roots, etc., etc. And pilot's dress was also advised, guided by Maharshi Bharadwaj and that was made out of silk, wool, cotton that you know everybody but one more item was used and that was vegetation under the water. The threads were taken out of vegetation under the water, they were processed, then the cloth was made and then further the cloth was processed so that it becomes shock proof, electric proof, waterproof, pressure proof and moreover, the virus proof. See the controller of this seminar, she is looking at me and every second her eyes diameter is increasing. So I will take the direction and say thank you. And I will conclude my book. My conclusion again, while concluding, I would Again, request again and again to the modern science people to experiment with all this. Take a guidelines from Maharshi Bharadwaj and manufacture something better. And this is my request to you. Sorry, a good size, large living elephant I was asked to put in a matchbox. I have tried. I hope you agree with it. Thank you. Okay. I'm sorry, I, Captain Boras, I fully agree with you. Only I have a small nanosecond question. I do not know still what are the fruits grown under the surface of the earth. I beg pardon, say again. You said fruits, vegetable. Okay, under, which are growing under the surface of the earth. Vegetable we know, but fruits I don't know. Maybe I am not knowledgeable. No, the roots means Ex the real roots of the tree which extract the water and send it up. Okay. And what we and you and me see as a sweet potato yeah. is a sort of vegetable in a form of a root. Whereas the real roots, they are very thin, they are capillary tube types but they were advised to be taken. Thank you very much. I think hearing you that no questions will be allowed. Yeah. <laughs> One question has come in writing, but of course I will meet that no, gentleman and answer him. We will have discussion because uh, we are very late and few people have flights. So please excuse me. Yeah. But one thing is sure, I am going to summarize within uh, two, three sentences all the talk being the chairman, each talk had its own importance and we Indians are now charged that we should not...